What up, y'all? Butts. Hi, oh. butters. Good morning. <gasps> Good morning. We're gonna race. Here we go. Oh, damn, you beat me. You beat me, girl. Look at this hair. Oh my god. Yo, I really wish that I got more videos and pictures of her when she was a puppy. You're so big now. Look at that. That's what 20 pounds of corgi looks like. Sorry. <laughs> Sit. Good. Paw. Good. Good. I don't know about you guys, but it's breakfast time. Let's eat some breakfast. You want breakfast too? All right, all right. Let's see here. What the hell is this? This is like cinnamon toast crunch mixed with the ends of honey bunches of oats. I'm gonna let Butters play with the camera. She go fuck it up. No! No, no, no. Does that have some special K in there too? Bro, I'm eating the mystery cereal today. It's like three cereals in one. Since y'all are here watching the channel, I feel like I really want to know what kind of people my subscribers are. Do y'all brush your teeth before you eat or do you brush your teeth after in the morning? It's a serious question. Y'all let me know what you guys do. Mm. Yummy. Yummy. Stop. Stop it. Butters, do you brush your teeth? Oh, you're tired. Look at her. Guys, she's almost at 2,000 followers on Instagram. Where can I find you at? Boom, right there. You're right. Dose of butters. Anyway, I gotta get this breakfast down so we can catch this flight. It is super rainy outside. Look at that. We're supposed to be having a storm this week, so that's why I'm kind of glad that I'm dipping out of here. But I want to wear these to Texas, so I'm gonna coat these up to make them waterproof so they don't get soaked on the way to the airport. Try and make y'all comfortable. That's right. For the record, you ain't trying to grow any stuff for you. That's right. For the record, lab on me going all the way. All the way. For the record, ain't trying to link no time to wish. were kind of like it wasn't the best setup i was a middle seat and i'm already big you know what i'm saying and i had to sit next to two big dudes and i was like bruh literally like this vienna sausage vibes all day for a few hours on the flight it was not good and then it took an hour to get here for my uber but basically i'm out here in dallas texas i'll get into that a little bit later but i just landed in the airbnb and might i say it's pretty fire. So let me show you guys the little Airbnb view. You know what I'm saying? You gotta do this all the time. Front door vibes right here. And then we're gonna move into this nice and kind of cozy apartment. This is goals right here, honestly. When you first step in, you're greeted with this nice kind of like gray hardwood, you know, the nice Instagram picture hardwood. I like it, I fucks with it. And my shoes might be squeaking a little bit in this video when I'm walking, so. Just stay tuned for that. But yeah, look at this kitchen. We got a full range kitchen right here. Nice little sink action. Electric stove, fridge for all of the condiments. Ooh, the guy left the water for me, that's cool. He has barbecue sauce, all this. Oh, bro, that ranch is kind of gross. No, God! Nice countertop. Really, really dig this apartment. Like I said, this is some goals right here. So as you walk, you go in, you get a little comfy, and you're greeted with a nice red leather couch. So fire. Let's test the comfiness of this though. Ooh. Oh man. This is comfy. Let me just <clears throat> take my shoes off. Oh. This is one of them couches where it's like, it's a couch, but low key, this is two beds combined. I dig this. I could get used to something like this. So let me continue this tour right here. I know this is a random vlog, but why not bring you guys along whenever I travel? Just do some cool shit, you know what I mean? Behind me, we have the living room TV. This is the cool part. We have a little view, and even though we're not super high, 
I like being pretty high when it comes to apartments, but even though we're not hella high, look at that view, guys. Oh my God. We have some palm trees. Bruh, this is living the life for real. Little barbecue pit down there. Super nice pool. I thought they would have a jacuzzi. Your boy was about to take a dip, but this is Texas, so it's pretty hot. Guess they didn't want the jacuzzi. I'm literally like the only person out here enjoying this. That's crazy. Fa. What do you guys think? This is fire. It's a small apartment, but everything is really nice. It's cozy. I like it. So we're gonna step over into the master bedroom. Boom. Light. Got a uh, bed here. Looks like a full, full size bed. Perfect size. And then if you step to the left, you have the bathroom. One sink. Where's the light switch? Oh, here we go. Got a little sink. You got your boy. The toilet. Little cabinet for stuff. Ooh, would this be like your closet? Oh shit. Oh shit. Oh shit. It is. This is like a closet. Pretty small, I could fill this myself, but you know what? It is what it is. Look at me, talking as if I live here. Talking as if I'm picturing myself living here. Gotta get that fixed, you know, I gotta call maintenance up. Get that fixed, since we live here. All right, and we got the shower and bath tub. That pretty much concludes this Airbnb, but this is, Pretty nice. I mean, I can't complain about it at all. Since my Uber ride was so long, I had a bunch of time on my hands and I was like, okay, let's check out how much apartments are going for and let's check what houses are going for out here. You could get a mansion looking house for like 200 grand out here, easy. You honestly cannot find that in the Bay Area. It's very hard to find anything under a million dollars. The million dollar mark in the Bay Area is like, that is the starting price for everything. Like entry level homes, one million, and they could look like trap houses. So I was like, okay, let's look at apartments. Something like this, very similar to it. I wasn't able to find this one, but very similar to it, it would be like 600 bucks a month, which is very doable. But this exact apartment in the Bay Area would probably be about 2,000 to 2,500, depending on where it's located exactly. Even could be 3,000. So yeah, that's why I'm enjoying this place while I can, living that Texas life. I'm not gonna lie, I'm pretty hungry, so I'm just gonna take you guys along with me, just chill, you know, this is a vlog. Running it solo, but it's all good. Oh baby. All right, no tacos tonight. I'm actually staying inside. Got the Uber Eats on deck, you know what I'm saying? If you guys wanna use the code right here, I'll get you $5 off Uber Eats. Hello guys, baby. I need that extra hot sauce, fire. White sauce, fire. Oh man, if you guys have never had this place before, it's so good. Make sure you type it in, the halal guys. It's like Mediterranean food. Ah, uh, somewhat healthy. You got your little vegetables, tomatoes, a little bit of uh, lettuce. You got these bread thingies for the carbohydrates. Protein, I got the gyro on deck. A Little bit of uh, orange rice at the bottom. And you just gotta smother it in the sauce. Oh man, I am so hungry right now. You guys have no idea. Sauce is on. If you guys have had Halal Guys before, you know about that, that hot sauce right there. I usually get them to put like five or six lines in it and I always ask for more hot sauce, so I usually put about four or five packets of that. They only gave me two this time. <laughs> Your boy's sad. I don't know if you guys have seen that episode, Hot Ones on YouTube where um, they do like the interviews and everybody has to eat the chicken wings and it gets hotter and hotter as they go. I feel like I'm ready for it. I, I, can, I can take that heat. I love spicy food. It's so delicious. Oh, oh, oh my God. Looks like a lot of sauce, but trust me guys, this is the only way to eat halal, guys. Let's dig in. Quick little mukbang for the boys. Cheers to everybody watching. Mmm. Mm-hmm. Feels so good, that food again. So good. 
You guys are probably wondering why I'm out here in Texas. That's because I'm taking a class, a class to teach me how to make watch bands, Apple watch bands out of designer cases or designer, uh, designer bags. So I'm doing a little class on it. It's the only way I'm gonna learn, stepping out of my comfort zone. So hopefully with a bunch of practice and a bunch of dedication, I'm able to make some stuff for you guys in the future. So stay tuned for that. I'm gonna try to vlog every single day out here since it's a perfect opportunity for content. Hopefully hit a few thrifts and all that. It should be a fun time. Hmm. Okay guys, I am going to kill this right now. Peace. Throwing the towel in. Look what I just found inside the bag. One extra freaking sauce. What am I gonna do with that? I wish I knew. Ugh. Damn it. Oh, there's one more little triangle for you guys if you guys want it. I don't know where to get water. This fridge does have a water thing. I don't know if I could trust that water though. The only reason I'm skeptical about this fridge is because sometimes in Airbnbs, they don't change the filters because the actual person doesn't live here. So it could be dirty water, but I'm gonna try using this cup. You gotta check the stream, you know what I'm saying? And then uh, you just do the eye test, you just... Let's look at this shit. Let's see. It looks pretty clean. Looks is one thing, but taste is a completely other thing. <laughs> just kidding, guys. Just kidding. This is creeping me out that I'm using this glass that I just found. Yeah, I shouldn't be using that. All right, we're good on the water. Your boy is still on Cali time, so it's a little bit late. I gotta make sure I get enough rest for tomorrow's class. I feel like I'm going back to school again. It's like the first day of high school or the first day of college, so I'm stoked. This is a little bit different because I actually like what I'm getting into, so I hope that I could take this really far and I know it's gonna take a lot of effort, it's gonna take a lot of practice, but I'm willing to put it in just because I wanna try something new. I paid to be out here, I'm paying for this place to stay, I paid for the flights, I paid for the class, I'm doing all of this. So one message I wanna leave you guys with is that you can do whatever you put your mind to it as long as you're willing to jump into that lane. So keep your mind focused, invest in yourself, always number one priority. Invest in yourself, plant your seeds early, and you will reap what they sow. We didn't do a lot of activities in this vlog, but I was going through a lot of my older vlogs just cause my main channel is hitting 500,000 subscribers very soon. So I'm gonna do a little mashup, little compilation thing, and I was like, what did I used to vlog back then? Like, you know when you do stuff for a long time, you kind of forget what you were doing before? So I looked at it and I literally, didn't even go out when I vlogged. Like I would vlog in my room and just talk to the camera. And people enjoyed it. So if you guys are watching this and you actually enjoy stuff like this, I could put out more vlogs. I got into this mindset where it's like, I need to go out and I need to get this crazy content for you guys. But I feel like I'm missing that part that I used to do. You don't necessarily have to go out of the way to do all of this crazy stuff. Just pick up the camera, go with the flow. If I'm inside for the day, I'm inside for the day. If I'm outside, then we're outside. That's how it is. That's what a vlog channel is supposed to be for. So that's what we're gonna do. We're gonna end this vlog right now. I'm just gonna show you guys the shoes real quick, just because we did start this channel off with the shoes. So let's take a quick Look at these babies right here. In the beginning of the video, you guys saw me spray this with the Angelus water and stain repellent. It was crazy raining at home. I got through the airport fine. I got through all the wetness perfectly fine. I mean, look at the uppers. These things are crisp. I got this pair from the Fix Kicks for under a hundred bucks. And I remember when these first came out, I think two years ago, and I was like, I don't know what I think about these shoes, but I ended up getting this pair just to customize and I didn't get a chance to do it yet. So what I'm doing is I'm just wearing it just to see how I feel about this shoe. And honestly, it has been growing on me. So we got the Vapor Maxes right here. They're pretty comfortable. They're not as comfortable and as squishy as Boost, but it is comfortable in a different way. It's super weird. If you guys wanna try these out, I would highly recommend it if you go buy it for a used price. 
I would highly recommend that. I wouldn't pay what they're going for brand new, just because I think that's crazy, but the Vapor Max is actually a decent sneaker. Anyways, guys, thank you so much for watching this video. I appreciate it. I have more fun vlogs coming soon. I just want to get back into the groove of pick up the camera, whether I'm inside or outside, and just talking to you guys. Some of y'all might think that's boring, but honestly, I just want to look back at what I filmed years and years and years ago, which I have been doing, so whatever I'm creating now is something I'm gonna look back on in the future. Hope everybody is doing great though. I hope y'all are pushing, staying motivated every single day, try something new, learn something, feed your brain, and keep on pushing, guys. It's your boy Sneakerhead in the Bay. I'll see you guys very soon. 500K, baby, if you're not subscribed to the main channel, you know what to do. I'm out, peace. I said I'm driving Mercedes. My windows not tinted, they look at me crazy. I ride through my city. I talk to that bitch like, look what you made me We came from the basement, now look at our statements She calling me baby, calling me lately All this shit changed when I got the Sadies